Good morning, everyone. Thanks for taking the time to sit down with me today for Coffee and the Word. That time each day that we take a small portion of God's Word and we try to apply it to our lives so we can become a little more like Jesus today than we were yesterday. So as always, grab that cup and let's get started. We're going to move into Psalm 66 this morning. Listen carefully to verses 1 through 5. Shout for joy to the Lord all the earth. Sing the glory of his name. Make his praise glorious. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. So great is your power that your enemies cringe before you. All the earth bows down to you. They sing praise to you. They sing praises to your name. Come and see what God has done. His awesome deeds for mankind. Everyone is called to praise God. The content of praise is his name. All things he is and everything he has done. The character of this praise is to be glorious. What is glorious praise? Glory has connotations of weightiness, dignity, magnificence, and beauty. Glorious worship is exuberant. It's never half-hearted. It is attractive. It's not off-putting. It is awesome never sentimental. It is brilliant, not careless. It points to God and not to speakers. It fits its great object. It seeks to be as glorious as the one it praises. So worship should never be trivial, never pretentious. There is nothing more evangelistic, nothing that will win the world more than glorious worship. Lord, so much of our public worship in the church today is indeed trivial and pretentious. Let my church and the churches across the world begin to praise you in spirit and in truth. God, um, grant us anointed worship so beautiful that it attracts even those whose hearts are hardened towards you. Amen. Be blessed and have a grace-filled day.